Well, the year so far, obviously, has been a little frustrating to go from a big stable all my career until, you know, with working with Flying Z Stable to coming down now to starting almost from scratch. You know, it felt like a 20 year old again going down to six horses, seven horses, nine horses, and then seeing the stable, you know, go through the winter with not a lot of action. So I'm optimistic that, you know, the spring is here and Belmont's here and we're at our home base and we've gotten through some of the rough spots and now we're back up to 22 or 23 horses. Collis likes to be near the barn, have access to the barn. Um, even when we were away on our honeymoon, he was up every day at five o'clock calling the barn. You know, it's, it's a transitional period to lose somebody that was so instrumental in my career as a horse trainer. Mr. Lizard was one of the leading owners in New York, you know, for so many years, and he was a big part of my life. You know, my dad had trained for him in the 80s and had a couple of champions with him. And, you know, I've known him since, you know, all my life. He's like the only other mentor other than my father I really had in the horse game. He's a third generation trainer, so his grandfather handed you know, some of the business down to his dad, his dad handed some of the business down to Carlos. I'm not sure what my goals are other than to just get the stable back where I have the same people that have been with me, that I don't have to lay anybody off because of not having enough work and having the horses in the barn. So I guess that's my number one goal, to get the stable filled up to at least 30 horses. Carlos just has this love for these animals, and I think that goes into his personality. He's just calm and sweet and kind and I think it goes hand in hand. You know, I'm not thinking I'm going to compete with the top five or six, seven trainers here at Belmont just for the simple reason I don't have the numbers right now. The trainers like Pletcher and McLaughlin and Billy Mott and those trainers, they're dealing with 70 to 130 horses spread between here and Saratoga, so they're obviously, they're, they're running a lot more bullets. You need to have a lot of horses to compete for a title. And right now, we're just trying to get a stable back, you know, to some semblance of, 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 of order, which we always used to carry between 35 and 40 horses. So, but I think we'll do okay, though. You do good today, everybody loves you. You don't do good, everybody hates you. And every day is different.